your creation process when you do an arrangement? I think that it's almost 100% inspired by the flowers that I buy. And not even the kind of flowers, but you know, the, the shapes of, of the flowers. Um, it just really, you know, when you're doing a hay bonnet, it's really important to look at each stem and, you know, kind of see what the stems are telling you. And um, you, it's kind of impossible to plan an arrangement before you go and buy your flowers, because each flower, each stem has such personality. Um, and there, because there's so few stems in arrangement, um, it's really crucial that you pay attention to that. So I'm usually, I go to, you know, the, the floral market, the florist, and I um, get inspired by what is there and usually, the, you know, try to get something really seasonal to really, like, celebrate the season because that's another important aspect of Ikebana. What's the most challenging part about learning Ikebana? I think that there's a lot of fear because you have to make cuts on these beautiful flowers and stems and you get afraid to cut anything. So I think, um, you know, just going with your instinct and, and cutting and placing and just going forward, it's kind of, it's kind of difficult. You know, you want to overthink it and you want to pre-plan the whole thing, but, um,